Hello, welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. I know you love those Buckeye chocolate peanut butter balls that we all have at Christmas time, or most of us do, I think. You know, I don't know why I don't make them all year long because everyone loves them. But I have a recipe for you today that is gonna taste almost like it. It's made in an iron skillet. Don't worry, if you don't have one, you can make it in something else, but this is so easy. It's called Skillet Buckeye Cookie Cake. All right, we're gonna start with a box of chocolate cake mix, and I just bought the chocolate fudge cake mix. I'm gonna put this in my mixing bowl. I'm going to add two eggs and one half cup of oil. Now, I'm going to mix that and I'm gonna use my hand mixer for this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix one cup of chocolate chips. I'm using milk chocolate. You can use semi-sweet, whatever you prefer. And I'm just going to fold that into this batter. It's real thick. Now, since I have done that, I'm going to take half of this. And I'm gonna put it in my iron skillet. Let me get a knife. Actually, I'm gonna get this little spatula and I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to spread it. Hold on a minute. I knew I should have done this and I didn't. But I'm going to spray my hand with cooking oil. Now, see how much easier that made it? I knew that, but I didn't do it. So I had to, to get out my oil and do that. Now I sprayed my hand and spread it out. I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm gonna wash these beaters for just a minute because I'm gonna use them for the next step. I only have one hand mixer so I have to take time to do this.
And you know, I didn't get them perfectly clean because this next layer is gonna go on top. So it's not gonna matter if it has a little bit of chocolate left on these beavers. So, let me put these back in. And the next step is in a smaller bowl. We'll set this aside. In a smaller bowl, I'm gonna put one cup of peanut butter. You use whatever you want. This is Jif. This is creamy. I would think you could use creamy or the crunchy, but I'm using the creamy. I'll use this spatula again. And I'm gonna mix one half cup of confectioner's sugar. One half. I'll use this. Oh my goodness. We know that's going to be good. Okay. Now. I'm going to spread that, that on top of this. I love those little Buckeye balls, the little chocolate peanut butter that we make at Christmas time. But you know, it just, it takes a lot of time to dip those and, you know, we think we don't have time, but we do if we take the time. But this is going to be like that, but it's going to be in a cookie cake form. Hope you can see this. <clears throat> Thank you, Ken. Yeah. Okay. Now, let me get all that goodness off. Now, what I'm going to do is take the other half of the cake batter, and I'm going to spread it... on some parchment paper. Well, that was gonna be my paperweight. And then, I'm just gonna roll it out. Okay, if I get a little peanut butter in it. Okay. Now my skillet, my iron skillet, is a ten and a half inch skillet. So we want this to be about ten and a half inches. So let's just see. And I can feel those chocolate chips when I'm rolling it. I think that's going to be pretty close. I need one of those um, mats that shows you how I did something in it. Oh goodness, I should have sprayed this, but I didn't. 
You see, you see what real life is like? That's what it's like. So, I'm gonna show you what you do if you make that mess. We're gonna spray a little pan there. And then, we're gonna start over. You know, sometimes, I want you to know that although you have been cooking for 60 years, you have to learn a few things. And I should have known after I had to spray my hands, but you know, I thought the parchment paper would have taken care of it, but it didn't. So let's just spray this. Okay. I think it'll come off now. If it doesn't, we're in trouble. Well, I'll have to spoon it. Because I can't wait to eat it. I preheated my oven to um, 350 degrees. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is going to work. Now, I'm going to put this here. this, the recipe says for 20 to 25 minutes or until a toothpick comes out with just some crumbly uh, cake. And that's what I'm going to do. I know that some of you are going to think, why in the world did she make such a flop out of that trying to show us how to do something? That's life. That's life. I'm going to put this in my preheated oven, and when it gets done, I'll be back. <clears throat> this cooked for about um, 35 minutes. So you're just going to have to check your oven because everybody's oven is different and it has cooled a little bit. But, it's still warm. And I'm going to try to get a piece out to show you. I don't know how messy it's gonna be, but I do know that it's going to be delicious. So, oh my goodness. Can you see? I'll hold it up. Oh goodness. Mm, mm, mm. It's still warm. You can see the layers, chocolate, the peanut butter, chocolate again and i'm going to put some ice cream on this for harold in a little bit but i wanted you to see so easy to make if you'll remember to spray your hands with pam or your cooking spray spray your parchment paper with pam see hopefully by me messing up i'm saving you that step and everything else was so easy but y'all this is a great dessert and it was made in an iron skillet. So easy. So, hope you'll try it. Y'all, comment on my post, share it, and go to YouTube. I just appreciate you following me so much, and I want you to be salt and light. Jesus is good. He loves you. And I do, too. Thank you so much for following me. I'll be back soon.